tonight. It's been over a week since anyone has heard from or seen 82-year-old Emmett Kaiser. Now his family is offering a reward in exchange for information on his whereabouts. WVUA 23's Chelsea Barton joins us now live with the latest on this search for a missing Tuscaloosa County senior citizen. This expanded search conducted by the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Department consisted of over a dozen officers mounted on all-terrain vehicles, but still no sign of Emmett Kaiser. In a situation like this, when you have an 82-year-old man and we're going on eight days now without him being located, you know, we don't want to leave any stone unturned. We want to make sure that we dot all our I's and cross all our T's. Since Thursday, law enforcement and volunteer crews have thoroughly searched the areas within five square miles of Kaiser's home on Keens Mill Road in Coling with no luck. Family members tell me Kaiser was robbed and beaten in late 2014, leaving him reliant on a wheelchair to get around. That chair and Kaiser's club car he frequently used were left at his home. Although circumstances look grim, authorities are still hoping for the best. We hope to find him somewhere, you know, and, and he's just been out of contact with the media and, and doesn't know that we're actually looking for him. Uh, but just to make sure that we cover all our bases in the event that he's out here in the woods, that we're able to locate him and, and bring closure to this for everybody that's involved, including the family. Family like Kaiser's great niece, Nikki Sanders, who says she can't imagine why anyone would want to take Kaiser or harm him. He was uh, old school, one of the honest men. He would give you the shirt off his back. Sanders tells us the overwhelming outpour of support since her uncle's disappearance is a reflection of how loved he is by his community. It says a lot. I mean, it means a lot to us, you know, to his family. And usually when stuff like this happens, not like this or anything, you know, Tuscaloosa comes together. They always do. Joining the search and rescue efforts tomorrow, a team from Columbus, Mississippi with cadaver dogs. If Kaiser has not been located by Saturday morning, a volunteer search will take place. If you'd like to join that search, donate to the reward or contribute in any way, you're encouraged to reach out through the Facebook page, Missing Emmett Kaiser. Live tonight, I'm Chelsea Barton, WVUA 23 News.